Hello, Mr. Pete LePage. Hello, Mr. Timothy Jordan. So uh, I'm traveling around visiting my uh, best DA friends. Woohoo! <laughs> and talking about what are you going to do during the holidays, right? No, it's not uh, your sort of serious professional work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're going to explore yep. some new fun technology. Absolutely. And what is that going to look like? Well, I'm going to go play with progressive web apps. I bet you are. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of fun. There's lots of neat stuff. You had you had somebody on the show. Darren Fisher. We yeah. had Darren Fisher on the show a few weeks ago talking about progressive yep. web apps and his keynote at the Chrome Dev Summit. Absolutely. You should check it out. The cool thing is it starts as a browser tab. You just go www.whatever.com and you use it like a web app, but you can add it to your home screen and the more you use it, the more useful it becomes. Well, give me a couple of the technologies uh, involved in progressive web apps. Um, just sure. so we know yeah, what yeah. to search for and learn and check out and program Absolutely. against. Absolutely. So the big one is service workers. Service, worker. service workers enables two big things. Yeah. One, it enables you to do an entirely offline experience, uh -huh. and two, push notifications, right? In the past, it always had to be a native app that was doing push stuff. Yes. The web couldn't do push. With Service Worker, web can do push. Service Worker is cool. Service Worker is kind of awesome. <laughs> and then the other one is the app manifest. Yes. You saying, hey, this is my app. This is the information you need to know about it. And as long as you've got those things and you're served via HTTPS, Chrome will start prompting, hey, do you want to add this to your home screen? That's pretty dope. And you get a progressive web app. If you want to check out more about what Pete uh, talked about on the show, there's a bunch of great links down in the show notes. Pete, thank you for braving the wonderful New York weather. You're and, welcome. Uh, let's go get warm. Yeah, I like that idea. So here I am on another part of the High Line that's just as majestic and just as cold, and I've caught up with my buddy Josh. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming to New York. It's good to have you. Hey, you're welcome. It's great to be yeah. here. So I'm asking my best DA buds, when you leave the office and you get some time to relax and renew and you still want to do some coding, what are you going to play I with? I am going to relax and renew with TensorFlow. As you heard from the awesome Rajat a couple weeks ago, yeah. TensorFlow is... He was is, on the show a couple weeks phenomenal. ago. He's yeah. phenomenal. But TensorFlow is a new open source machine learning toolkit released by Google. And specifically, what I'm going to play is with using TensorFlow on Android. If you were to play with that, I'd say on your Android device, what would it look like? Well, I have an awesome demo for you. And this is TensorFlow running a computer vision model. And the way this will work is I'll activate the camera on my phone. Then I'll point the phone at different objects, and it will tell me what they are. For example, if I pointed at this banana, it will say, this is a banana, or this is an apple, or this is an Android doll. And it works quite well, all in real time, running just on the device. Super fast, no Wi-Fi or any kind of cloud access necessary. But and how does it work? Well, it uses something called a convolutional neural network. <laughs> and what is that? Well, to learn about that, I'm actually working on a series of videos called Demystifying Deep Learning. OK. And they'll be released in a couple months. And they will teach you from the ground up what a CNN actually is and how it works. That's great. Yeah. So today they can play with TensorFlow uh, by going to tensorflow.org. Exactly. And in a few months, they're going to learn even more from you about how to do machine learning in their apps. Absolutely. And by the way, the tutorials on tensorflow.org are top notch. So highly recommend them, and you can try this stuff out right now. Thank you for joining us on this holiday edition of The Developer Show. Thanks for having me, and stay warm. OK. Yeah.